Hey guys, welcome back. Today is uh, February 23rd of 2021. Uh, today we got to 73 degrees here in Missouri. Uh, a week ago it was minus 16 and snow. <clears throat> so a big change. Uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, open up the top of these hives. I've got pollen patties. I'm going to throw pollen patties on all my nukes and other colonies that I have the feed shims on and try to get them some pollen so they can uh, start building up brood um, here where I am in Missouri we'll probably see natural pollen in about another oh, two weeks probably we got some decent weather coming in relatively decent and then I'll probably get like uh, some pussy willow and maybe some uh, silver maple going for natural pollen but until that time we're going to throw on some pollen patties and check out their dry sugar I peeked in a couple hives here uh, two days ago and they really hadn't touched the dry sugar at all uh, I really didn't think they would but I just left it in there as an emergency but anyhow let's uh, crack these open and uh, I'll just show you what I do with the, the pollen patties. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so this is kind of what uh, first nuke looks like. Um, this hive's been fairly active on uh, warm days this season. Uh, they've got a lot of their uh, sugar left, so I won't need to touch any of that stuff. It's, uh, Still a little too early in the year for uh, you know liquid feeds because we're still going to have some below below freezing nights and stuff coming up in the forecast. So I won't be doing any of that for a while here. Uh, but what I got are these uh, these one pound pollen patties. Bought them from Man Lake. Uh, these came in a forty pound box, but uh, I think you can get them in a ten pound box or by the pallet. If you so desire, but we're gonna do these one pounders, and we'll just take take that and uh, put them down here on the dry sugar. That'll allow the bees to get to the pollen patties. They can also get to the dry sugar if they need. I'm not gonna break the hives apart right now. I'm assuming there's probably a little bit of brood in there, uh, but I, I just don't want to tear the hives apart right now. It's still winter time and. We're gonna still gonna have some cold temperatures. They've got everything glued together, so uh, I don't want to disturb the nest any more than I have to. And uh, try to spread these apart one-handed while I'm filming. But it's good to see uh, who's alive and who's dead. Today is definitely the day to do that. It's with it being. 70 plus degrees here. So this is another colony. You can kind of look down in there and see them. Same thing. I'm just going to put this pollen patty right on there. They'll be able to get to that really easy. Throw my insulated inner cover back on and the lid. Kind of rinse and repeat. I took the concrete blanket off here just to access them. Once I get this done, I'll throw it back on just for windbreak. And probably in about uh, three weeks, I'll just uh, take the concrete blanket off and uh, the bees will be on their own at that point. For windbreaks and stuff, we should be getting warm enough uh, where any of the, the bad winter temperatures uh, kind of go away. <clears throat> Anyhow, you can kind of see. Try to get out of the sunlight there we got activity and all of these nukes here which is good to see the other day I didn't have it in all of them but now that it warmed up they're all flying really nice I can walk through the apiary and see I lost uh, I don't know just maybe eight eight or ten give or take um, we'll do a final count here in a few weeks and kind of see how the year went Anyways, folks, that's that's what I do with the pollen patties right now. Just throwing them on the top there. The bees will eat them if they want them, and if not, 
we'll just collect them here when the natural stuff starts coming in and uh, throw them in the garage for later all right guys thanks for watching subscribe if you'd like and we'll catch you on the next video